Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As we expected yesterday, we saw more Premier League TOTS leaks, but what we weren't expecting is some of the players and the stat upgrades that we have leaked. So I wanna take a look at those new ones that we have seen. It's crazy. Some of the cards that have even gotten in to Prem TOTS, I don't understand. But we're gonna unpack that and look at all those cards that we're expecting to see tomorrow as Premier League season, team of the season starts tomorrow on Friday. I also wanna take a look at everything that has transpired in the last day on FIFA because we have had some big SBCs that have been dropped. Namely, that flashback Joe Gomez was dropped. The stats look good until you go into the card. I think that makes this SBC not as great as it looks from face value, but still a ton of people are going to do it as a lot of center backs in this game, especially Prem center backs, are down bad. So I want to take a look at that and the guaranteed community tots, how that affected the market with actually some of those most valuable community tots players like Fred, like Zaha going up in price as people are buying those after they didn't pack them in the community upgrade. And just knowing that a lot of people were looking to buy around this time frame. But if you didn't yet, I think there's still going to be another opportunity to see them. Those cards drop a little bit lower before they completely go out of packs tomorrow on Friday. So we're going to take a look at all of that today and more in the video. Again, if you're excited for Prem Tots, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. That's where we're gonna start from the top. We're gonna start with these Premier League Tots cards, even more leaks. Yesterday we only had a couple. Today we have some big names to talk about. And this is, in my opinion, going to be the highest rated card in the team of the season for Premier League. 98 rated Salah. This, I believe, is the best or if not tied for the best Salah card we have ever seen in FIFA, 98 rated, 99 pace, 99 dribble, 97 shooting, 95 passing, 86 physical, a really juicy upgrade from that headliners and team of the year honorable mentions version. Uh, this card looks unbelievable. And I maintain my speculation that EA is going to give him that four star weak foot, which would make this the most desirable Salah card to date. So that's a card that so many people are going to want to use inside of Prem Tots. He is going to be pretty expensive. That was our biggest um, and I, I think the most hype leak from yesterday, if I'm being completely honest, based on the stats and the juice that card is getting. Now, let's keep going down the line. There's a couple ones in here that are not that hype, and this is one of them. Rodri, pretty much going to be a fodder card. No offense to Manchester City fans. I know you had a bad day yesterday. Still, this card is cool. I think what you're going to notice through the, the cards that we have leaked already, we have a lot of midfielders leaked. I think there's only one more midfielder that we're going to get. I don't think Rodri is going to be as a part of the starting of the 11. Definitely going to be an item from the bench, in my opinion, and you'll see why here in a minute. Declan Rice is another center defensive mid midfield player. Nice juice from the foot birthday. Not an insane upgrade. Still a dope card. Still a card that a lot of people are going to want to use. I know people love that foot birthday, Declan Rice, and a lot of people use him. We just had Fred, though. And I think that when you think about the Fred card, people would prefer to use him over Declan Rice and Rodri for sure. So those two don't seem as hype with the Fred that we have just received in Community Tots. But still... Nice cards, and if you need some English links, this Declan Rice is going to be a great CDM. Probably not going to have five-star skills, though, like his foot birthday SBC card does. Of course, we saw the Joe Gomez SBC. Uh, for short, we're just calling this guy Jomez, because every single time I talk about him, I just say Jomez, right? It's going to be the stream running joke. Anyways, let's keep moving on. This one, to me, is crazy. Bruno Fernandez, by some way, has gotten into Premier League Team of the Season. I mean... Of course, we know that we were going to see some cards in these TOT squads different from who deserves it, right? Because it's voting based. And that is exactly why Bruno Fernandez is getting a team of the season item. Now, a lot of people are like, Nate, are you kidding me? Bruno's going to get a TOTS, but KDB is not. The, the leaks and the team, like the cards right now, we have like half the team, right? I think we have like seven cards leaked right now or something like that. We still have another eight to be released. Um... We're going to see them all tomorrow on Friday anyways, but this Bruno card, it looks okay. I mean, yeah, you see 77 defending and you're like, man, that's not that great. 84 pace, that's not that great. This card is still going to be very desirable. And again, it just comes down to this being a vote, right? GGMU fans, you got your guy in. Bruno is in tot. It's crazy that again, it's just how the landscape of team of the season has, has changed this year because it's not just based upon um, who's deserving of the Tots cards, it's based on a vote, right? And I, that's how I voted too, right? I didn't have Bruno Fernandez in my vote. Am I shocked that he's in? No, but maybe a little surprised. That's all that I'll say. 
and it's not that big of an upgrade either so i guess ea maybe puts in the guys that deserve the biggest upgrades are getting um you know that they're getting the cards that they deserve if they have performed well irl not th not saying that bruno's performed bad but you see the, Sal uh, the salah boost right he's gotten a way bigger boost than bruno that kind of makes sense so gg's ea you're gonna sell some more packs because bruno fernandez is in here that's for sure now the last couple cards we have to look at here this one is a head scratcher for me because I, I have to think that that physical stat is wrong. Diogo Jota is going to be in Premier League team this season. Now, we now have three attackers that have been leaked. Jota, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Salah. I would assume that we at least have one more, maybe two more to go from uh, this official squad that will be released. The thing that's confusing about this Jota is 77 physical because if we take a look at his card on Footbin. His numbers up item has 83 physical and his base gold card has 77. Whether this is a graphic mistake here or if it's a legit EA mistake, uh, that cannot be right. I, I would have to assume that that is 87 physical. That would just seem right for a plus four boost over the physical that this card already has. Because if you take a look at a lot of his other stats, you know, 87 shooting and 91 dribbling on the numbers up card, you know, he's getting plus three, plus four boosts. So it would make sense if that is 87. Now, a lot of people are like, Nate, why does he not have 99 pace? This card has 99 pace. Well, the thing is, this card was a part of a special promo that it was going to get to 99 pace based off the upgrades. You know, starting at, what was his gold card? 84 pace. Um, and his man of the match has 87. I mean, that's still a pretty solid pace boost from 87 to 94, discounting that um, promo card for the Adidas item. So I think that's going to be a bit of a cheaper striker, but I'm a fan of it, right? No problems with that Jota card. Those are all of the players in packs leaks that we have, but we did get another SBC leak, Delhi Ali. This is going to be intriguing. He needs to have, I think he's, he's four star, three star at the moment. And for me, this one's crazy because, of course, he's now no longer at Spurs. Yeah, he's got a three-star weak foot, but he does have the four-star skills. We're going to need a four-star, four-star on this card, 100%. He does have outside foot trade, and he does have a unique body type, um, high medium work rate. So it might be a decent card to use, especially with a, that insane dribbling boost. He might feel pretty quick if those stats um, are legit. I don't know if this says stats predicted or stats confirmed, but... That's another pretty big flashback item. Of course, we had the Joe Gomez yesterday. Another one is leaked. I don't know when this is going to be released, but that's a pretty big leak there as well. Uh, a nice English linking center attacking mid for a lot of you guys' teams. That could be nice. Now, again, yesterday on the market, besides those leaks, right? If we take, honestly, just a, a quick note, those leaks that we have seen really have not moved cards on the market. Maybe Salah is down a little bit, but not much. People know that that Salah item is just crazy cracked. And it's not really going to move the market that much. So not really those leaks are causing any market movement. What it's really causing, though, is a lot of people to just not buy. And a lot of the other meta cards that are on the market in price just continue to slide a little bit, right? Just as we take a look, took a look at the Fakir card dropping down a little bit, a number of cards on this market have just kind of slid down from where they were on the weekend, right? Fakir, 260. If, even if we just go and take a look at Fakir and we take a look at this graph, this is a perfect example for all cards of what's been going on with most of the market. You had a lot of cards that were low last week, right? They rebounded up on the weekend. Uh, Fakir was actually 290. I, I remember specifically selling Fakirs for 290 on the weekend, but now it's just kind of been slowly falling, right? Or um, maybe I can find Paqueta is probably a good option as well. You know, we, we always been looking at this foot birthday Paqueta, 468, right? He's back down to where we were buying him, like right in here during the panic. This last weekend, he was up over 500K, now dropping back down again as the hype for Premier League team of the season. And all of these leaked cards that we're seeing continues to rise. Now, if you have these guys in your team, you know, you're probably going to see some more panic selling on this part of the market, the out of packs part of the market with these captain's cards, with the fantasy foot cards. I really think what's going to happen is it's going to be a lot like last Friday where you saw like an hour or two of panic selling. But then once that coins gets pushed on the market from everybody that's opening all the saved up packs this weekend, you're going to have people go rushing back to the market to buy cards and buy teams and put together those squads that they want to put together for weekly league which again is going to start with the same schedule it's going to start later three hours after content just like it did last week that's the schedule we're going to have for the entirety of team of the season so if you're if you're kind of like down or breaking even on some of these cards that you maybe bought um 
you know, last week and you're like, Nate, what's going on with some of these out of packs cards? You know, I think you're going to see some of them rise back up pretty well this weekend. So I wouldn't really say panic on those cards by any means. There's going to be tons of coins pushed on the market this weekend, which is going to make a lot of cards rebound back up to where they were last weekend or maybe even higher, depending on how Premier League Tots looks and of course how the content goes. But that's just kind of my word and how I'm feeling with these out of packs cards on the market. I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning, Nate, I've been losing some coins on some of these cards or do I need to sell? Are these cards going to go a little bit lower? I just feel like after this weekend, the only way they can go is, is back up kind of to how they did last weekend. So that's how I'm expecting these cards to kind of move on the out of packs um, scheme of the market and that place in the market right now. Now, one thing I also want to say is the cards that are in packs that are going out of packs. Let's talk about community tots cards for a second. Um, you know, we have guys like Fred and guys like Zaha that are uh, rising up pretty nicely. Fred was 450,000 coins, 440 last night on the YouTube video. If you guys remember me looking at that price, right now he's back up to 460, 470. And a lot of this was just was based around the fact that people invested in these cards because they were told. And, you know, it was honestly a decent time to buy because these cards, they didn't really drop that much around the time frame of the guaranteed TOTS SBC that was released yesterday. Uh, but they dropped just, just enough and people go, went out and they opened their guaranteed TOTS pack right away. They didn't pack the card that they wanted. So it's notably Zaha and Fred that are up like 20 to 30,000 coins a piece. Now, like I mentioned, and for all of these community TOTS cards, just remember the panic that we had last week on Friday. I think that these cards, even though they would be out of packs right after 6 p.m. UK, I think there could be another opportunity today on Thursday with marquee matchups, pack supply being released. Um, some people will save those packs for tomorrow, but of course, a lot of people will still open them um, to, to, to just have a chance at packing these TOTS cards. So I think you'll have another opportunity either today or tomorrow on Friday to get guys like Fred or Zaha or Laporte or Yuris a little bit lower than what they currently are right now, just because they're still in packs, they're gonna get supplied, and there's gonna be some panic with the Premier League TOTS cards dropping on this game. Um, on tomorrow. So that's kind of my feeling with the community tots cards at the moment. Now, speaking of community tots, we had the guaranteed SBC yesterday, and that was probably the most popular SBC of the day. I mean, it had to have been, right? Joe Gomez was cool. We'll talk about that again in a second. I keep pushing this guy off, but so did EA with the stat upgrade. So we're going to push him off a little bit longer. The community tots upgrade was cheap. 84 rated squad is all that it required. We were thinking it was going to be 85 or an 86. EA went out yesterday and dropped a madness and they made this squad and this, this SBC dirt cheap. Everybody was going out and doing it. GG's to EA. That was way cheaper than we expected. They did require a team of the season item. So I think you had your understall from Eredivisie. Um, he went up a couple thousand coins. I think he went from like 20K. He's actually right now about 30,000 coins. All the discard tots items are about 30K. Um, if you have those, my recommendation would be probably take the money on those because um, those all of the team of the season cards from the air division are going to get packed more um, this weekend because they're in packs until Sunday. Yes, that is the case. I know some of you guys um, did not know that, but we've mentioned a couple times on the videos this week that air division cards like Anthony, like um, Graven Birch, all of these dudes, these guys are in packs until Sunday. They're going to get absolutely smothered with supply tomorrow on Friday. So be very, very careful with these grab and birch timber and Anthony, especially, but even for the lower tier fodder ones, as the demand kind of wears off for that team of the season requirement in the, the community tots guaranteed, I would take the cash on understall Maserati. I would take the cash on those. It's just a safe route. Um, I really doubt that they would continue to rise too much as we have more lower tier tots cards coming into packs on Sunday for the EFL tots. So that's just one thing I would say about those cards um, at the moment on this game as well. But speaking of that SBC, once again, the community tots guaranteed, since it was so low rated, you didn't have those 85s and 86 go cards going up that much on the market. Really, that was where we were surprised yesterday. Even 84s didn't even go up that much. But what really boomed was the 82s and the 83s. Take a look at the index 83. Going from 200 points all the way to 363 points on the index. Literally, when this SBC dropped, 83 rated cards were selling at 4,000 coins a piece, almost the same price as 84s. It was mad. There were people that were selling Jorginho for like 7K. How crazy 
is that. So if you invested on the really little tier, like the 83s, they absolutely exploded. Uh, I think that was honestly the peak for all the fodder on this game. I think now today on Thursday, you're going to see this stuff continue to keep sliding down. And now we're going to get back into, okay, buy mode. This weekend, Friday, even even today, as you see a lot of these cards, you know, continue to go down in price. Lewandowski, 50,000 coins. Your 90 rated cards are getting closer and closer to 30K, which is where they were last week at their lowest. Your 88s are getting closer to 20K and below, which is where they were at their lowest on the weekend last week. Start to keep an eye on these cards. And we'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow, how you could even be potentially trading and investing with some of that higher tier fodder, even tomorrow and Friday, because there's still a lot of high rated SBCs, even though we don't have an icon player pick, we have an icon moments pack that would still demand some of this higher tier fodder after people get coins from packs tomorrow. So this is going to be a very important part of the market that we'll have to keep watching on this game. So that's kind of the fodder update at the moment. If you haven't sold your 83s yet or your 84s, I would still get those out because I think they're all going to go lower tomorrow. Um, especially the 84s are going to go a bit lower this weekend. They didn't go as low last weekend because we still had the the prime icon player pick that was released. But I think this weekend, since we don't have all that demand on the lower tier, uh, they're going to drop even further on the game. So let's finally talk about flashback Joe Gomez. It's time to give this guy a little bit of uh, face time. Um, you look at this SBC and you're like, Nate. This is giving me flashback Varan vibes. I mean, compare this card to flashback Varan, right? This is what you were saying in yesterday's video. These two guys were going to be in everybody's team. Well, the issue is the pace split is not what it seems. 91 pace, it shows, but actually 96 sprint speed and 84 acceleration with medium, medium work rates. The biggest complaint for this, this Gomez card, who we call Jomez, is he's going to be a little bit slow and clunky. 76 agility, 78 balance isn't terrible. 99 reactions is really good. Defensive stats, really good. But I think for more of the meta use on this game, unless what you're going to be doing next week is similar to me and you're going to be opening so many upgrade packs and player picks and stuff like that, that you're going to have fodder for days and you're going to have to go craft some sort of SBC, that would be like the only real way, unless you're a Liverpool fan and you really want this Gomez card where you he would really fit your team perfectly for whatever your links you have. Those would be the only reasons that I would go and do this card. I don't think this SBC is like a must do. You can see people here are not super happy with this. Again, I think it's this this the pay split and the work rates. And you know, maybe it's a little bit expensive, but it's not super crazy expensive. Um, he's not, he's actually pretty comparable to Laporte in Community Tots. Even with the pace split issue, Laporte's got 84 sprint, 84 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. So it's almost the exact same situation as Joe Gomez, and he's 473,000 coins. Uh, so, you know, he, he also has the medium, medium work rates. And, you know, that, that's it's kind of the same card as Laporte. Uh, and the stats are almost the exact same, too. So I think that's why people are a bit disappointed. And that was just a little bit, again, disappointing to see. We were hoping for maybe a little bit better of a card, but it just didn't happen but still an sbc like that is going to be very popular for people on fifa especially in the casual realm because they're going to see oh my goodness joe gomez that card is definitely better statistically face stat wise than a guy like antonio rudiger who has 85 pace but still has 92 defense 92 physical lower passing and dribbling but again a lot of us know that this rudiger card is so cracked in game still so good and uh, you know, a lot of these Premier League center backs got destroyed yesterday. Now, I bought some Rudigers at like 295, 297,000 coins because I thought that was a bit too cheap after he dropped off like 60, 70K. He's back up a little bit. Um, a lot of your Premier League center backs are down bad. By the way, they finally added the team of the season search filter, GG's EA Sports. It was about time that you did that. Uh, even cards like Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz was like 730K, I think. He went down under like 670. He was like 650. He still is like 675. So I know we're still waiting on a team of the season, Ruben Diaz, to be released. That might impact a card like this or a team of the season, Van Dyke. Uh, but a lot of your Premier League center backs, Mings was down pretty bad. Stones, um, I actually bought a few stones to try to trade with them on a kind of a risky flip fluctuation for this card. Um, you know, he's, he's getting pretty rare, but... You know, this guy was 350,000 coins two days ago, and now he is 280. So a lot of your Premier League center backs are in the mud. Some of your other out-of-packs uh, center backs are down too, like Lacroix. This dude's 420,000 coins. He was 500K yesterday. So center backs in the mud uh, in general across the board right now, again, on 
this game. Now, speaking of cards that are in the mud, just to finish things off on this video, Mares and Kyle Walker rode to the finals, as you would expect, with the city not being able to win yesterday. These cards are down horrendous. 500k for Mares, who was, you know, 800,000 coins yesterday, and Kyle Walker, which is very interesting. You're like, Nate, can we buy into some of these cards? It's a very interesting scenario because both of these cards are potentially going to be in the Premier League team of the season. We don't know many of the defenders yet. Again, Kyle Walker was in the Tots vote. This would still be a card that a lot of people would want to use in their teams just because he is pacey. Uh, so you definitely want to keep an eye on a guy like Mares or Walker. But again, if they get a Tots card, that might hurt one of these cards uh, road to the finals that again are no longer alive, right? This Walker was like 600K. Now he's 400. I actually bought one at 3D5. Sold it for around 420k, um, and and so those cards are down horrendous. But I think we need to wait and see if they're in the leagues for community or for Premier League tots before trying to say, hey, that could be a good investment, that could be a buy. And then of course on the flip side of things, Gareth Bale is up big because now Gareth Bale, which I mean, we even was were hoping for this when this card was released. At least I was as kind of a neutral fan with my team not being in Champions League. Uh, Gareth Bale is going to go to a 93. If they win the final, he's going to go to a 94. That would be crazy to have a 94 rated Gareth Bale. I know I'm jumping ahead of things here a decent amount, but that's that's just crazy how this card has gone on what a roller coaster ride this year for Champions League, but also for how this card has been upgraded in FIFA and how cracked this Gareth Bale is going to look now with one more upgrade coming and still one more potential upgrade with that Champions League final set for it later on in this month of May. So really quickly, let me just talk about a couple talking points for today on Thursday. What are we expecting for content today? Marquee matchups, like I mentioned, watch your community tots cards, maybe another opportunity to buy into a few of those today on this game. That would be the biggest piece of pack supply. We're definitely going to get the 84 plus player pick again. This is repeatable every single day. If you can see this down here, it was repeatable yesterday as well. It's going to happen today. Will it be a bit of a quieter day? That's the big question. I think what I'm going to do is spam a bunch of these 80 plus player picks, give myself a good shot and packing another tots card. I did my uh, guaranteed tots yesterday snagged your which is perfect, man. This is the one that I wanted Spurs squad. Um, happy for that so that was nice uh to be adding that into the team so you know any other tots that we get at this point is a bonus but we still have a lot of coins to spend and i want to open a lot of packs so i'm going to do some more of those player picks um we also could get a loading screen today ea kind of showing us what cards we might be getting for premier league tots tomorrow but of course we already have some information regarding the leaks that's how it goes these days so that's going to be the video for today boys hopefully it did help you out if you did Smash a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe if you are new. One more day until Prem Tots, lads. That's when it feels like team of the season actually gets hype and actually starts. So not to discount this past week, but Premier League just ups the ante and brings a whole new level to team of the season. If you guys, again, did enjoy, do all those things I said before. And it's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.